بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد فعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد جاءكم رسول من أنفسكم عزيز عليه ما عنتم حريص عليكم بالمؤمنين رؤوف الرحيم صدق الله العظيم اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين الحمد لله you have heard all through this month now about the blessed coming blessed Mailad and Mawlid of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. One thing one should be clear about is that the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned did not <coughs> come here to benefit himself or there is any benefit to Allah Jalla Majduhu. <clears throat> because when we say to people, uh, follow Prophet Islam, read the Ruh Sharif, remember him, be thankful to him, some people by mistake they think that maybe that actually they need something, we need to remember them etc. We need to, uh, they will get something if we do not, etc. etc. They fall into this that they need and uh, we think, okay, the, our actual life is that what we are doing, uh, living our life and working and caring for family and fulfilling, okay, we should do, <coughs> we should give something to them as well. In actual fact, this is very wrong thinking. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran mentioned, because first time when when first thought about a person is not correct, then the rest also will actually be follow that. There will be no uh, other no etiquette. Let's say for example you go to a doctor. What is your mindset? People make an appointment, we make an appointment to see the doctor. We are there, we know that doctor doesn't need us. We need the doctor. So people are making appointment, people are making sacrifice, people are thankful, they are very, very appreciative that the doctor sees them and they, he treats them. Similarly, if we need a lawyer or we have for example, we have been surrounded by enemy, by gangsters and thing, and then you call the police or you go to the police station, what do you think, then what's the mindset? You are very, very humble that please help me and you're very, very appreciative. And you're willing to wait, you're willing to, and after that you're very thankful as well. Why? Because actually you know that the doctor doesn't need you, the lawyer doesn't, he's doing whatever he is, another person will come, I need them. So you have a different mindset. So then you are humble, you respect them, you call them with different titles, etc. Sometimes even pay them and still are thankful and then mention to other, oh, that doctor, that be very, very good, etc. Government is very good, it's helping us, etc., etc. Because this is the mindset from the beginning. And if the mindset is that doctor need me, lawyer need me, police need me, then it doesn't bother to you. You do not care, you won't respect. You won't appreciate as such, actually. Now, if we look at Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa the Prophet Islam, that he was a prophet when he was in the world of spirits. 
he was a beloved of allah subhanahu wa taala a prophet is a prophet from the very beginning he did not need it we are the one who are actually surrounded by evil surrounded by shayateen surrounded by actually all other social evils and zulm and things so more than the police more than any person help you a doctor a lawyer the prophet ali sallallahu alaihi wasallam actually provided and fulfilled our that need we want to run away uh, from it but he ali sallallahu alaihi wasallam as a as a mercy uh, as a compassion that these people need uh, and these people need very direly from all dimension not only from one dimension not only from akhira point of view but also from dunya point of view because remember nowadays people we think uh, we are being restricted by law be it british law and or actually islamic law there are some restrictions and people think sometimes oh there is restriction na uh, the deen of islam even do on to this to this then there are restrictions of law of the country where we live we were. now imagine all these restrictions were lifted when rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam came there in makkah sharif there was no restriction nor they had any local a law of the country mean it was zulm and oppression completely nor there was any divine law they were following so they already doing what we want to do but what was the result what was the result the result was actually chaos and actually pain even today if for example what the sharia has for example what rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam came that um, honor the women one of the way he said honoring women if you want to have relationship give her some rights give her some gift take responsibility of her finances of things of children this, this is honoring and if that's lifted at that time there was no so there was no babies were lying babies are being buried and they will be you know if the children were to be, be actually babies were to be born just out of this actually there will be babies here lying there and no one want them because there's a kasra and there is no owner sense of ownership responsibility you have no you are in the masjid or you are at the work you don't know your wife is safe your sister is safe you are some because there is because you you are living in the same scenario as that as at that, that time that how many and some those people who do not follow these they are suffering even now actually they are suffering now as well there is no peace they have a wife she might leave them tomorrow they have a girlfriend if she sees a good car with someone she is going with him this and that has many living for those who are suffering day and night actually there will be no family no uncle no no etc et this is just an example uh, i am giving so whatever some people want freedom they say we are restricted by sharia what rasulullah sallam wrote is the mercy is actually is a is a life is peace in there and if you want to see without it then already when the ayam of jahiliya they were they were no restriction people already saw why they came up with all these laws even worldly ter- terms as well countries they have actually low and things is so fun of the mindset which one should have that i need the prophet ali sallallahu wasallam and he is a favor upon myself and i should be looking what i should be learning from him rather than ulama others saying oh please follow the prophet or please appreciate it's as though they need something from us or they we are doing some we are doing a favor to them so this mindset is very very important more than your parents you need rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam more than your doctor if you do you don't have what will happen you will die you do but if you don't have rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam in your life you are iman and actually your iman and faith actually is in danger 
And if you don't have any other thing, there is compensation in Akhirah. But here there is no compensation. So one should be eagerly and passionately trying to find out and figuring out that what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam have mentioned because that's 100% for our benefit. 100% for our benefit. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala jalla majduhu in the Quran uh, mentioned ke man amila salihan fali nafsi that all the amal Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam mentioned about the good deed they are for your benefit only. وَمَنْ أَسَاءَ فَعَلَيْهَا And whoever does not follow it, whoever follows the other, they are harming themselves. They are torturing as, as though they are themselves. They are as though disgracing themselves. So when this mindset, this thought, this aqidah, this belief comes in the person that I need the Prophet of Islam, he's doing a favor upon me, I am not doing any favor, then like Sahaba Ikram Rizwan Jumain, you will be after even the smallest thing what the Prophet Islam did and will do out of love, out of yearning and thing. And as you know, when the Prophet Islam came, in anywhere in the world there was no such thing as universal human rights and all these animal rights and women rights and things. There. Wherever the world, East, West, European or Western countries, whatever they are taken, they are taken one lesser or more from actually there, from those laws. Still some are not been adopted, but some have been adopted, be it women rights, be it animal rights, be it human rights. But okay, it's understandable they are uh, not Muslim, they do not believe, but they still take many things. But what about myself and yourself who have declared the greatest ever mission statement? Ashadu Allah ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh. That I have declared that Allah Azza wa Jal is the purpose, is the ma'bood, is the only one worthy of worship and worthy of making purpose. And what is abduhu? What Rasul, what that means? That means that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. I declare he is the model to please Allah. If I want to see a model how to worship Allah, how to love Allah, Ashhadu anna Muhammadan abdu. I bear witness he is the worship, meaning the perfect, ideal worshiper. If we want to see, uh, like many people, oh, I don't know. Allah subhanahu wa taala is pleased with me. Or oh, not, I don't know what Allah wants. Well, Allah did not leave any doubt. Rasulullah is the model in front of you. What he did is written, his seerah, his sunnah, everything. Wa Rasulu. And he is the model. Why? Because he is the messenger of who, who you have declared your God. Ashadu Allah ilaha illallah. So, La ilaha illallah, the purpose of life. And Muhammad Rasulullah, the way to achieve that purpose of life. And one mindset which I have just mentioned to you, uh, that the more a person will feel and believe and will be clear that I need, the more actually they will benefit. The more he will feel I don't need, maybe the Prophet Islam need me, or actually the deen need me, or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala need me, then a person will not pay attention and value, then he will not, or she will not. They are going to suffer. So it is utmost important to change that mindset. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala firstly enable myself, and then yourself to act upon it.